Russia has struck Ukraine's critical energy infrastructure for a second straight day. Ukraine says it shot down all but one Russian drone on Friday. An energy facility in the southern Ukraine was still damaged by falling debris. On Thursday, Russian airstrikes destroyed Kyiv's region's largest power plant and hit other power stations across the country. Two of them belong to DTEC, Ukraine's biggest private power company, estimating 80 percent of its facilities have been destroyed by Russian strikes. The DTEC chief executive is Maxim Timchenko. He joins me now from Kiev. Before we talk about the plants and the infrastructure, tell me, uh, 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 reassure me that, that, that your, your staff have been as safe as can be in these circumstances. Hello, Richard. Uh, if you remember, two years ago, we were talking about the first attack on our power station. It was two days before full-scale invasion. And three weeks ago, we experienced the largest attack on our infrastructure. As you said, 80% of available capacity we lost after two attacks. And of course, we are in one of the most difficult times since full-scale invasion in terms of uh, energy supply in the country and level of destruction. So it's difficult to comment on that, uh, but what we, we have to do now is to uh, restore uh, unit by unit reconnect to the grid. But the main issue for us and the main problem for us that we feel ourselves unprotected because of lack of uh, air defense, lack of ammunition, lack of air defense systems. And that's the main problem for us at the moment. So we can restore our power plants, we can bring more equipment, but we don't know what will happen next day. Because, uh, because what's, what's providing power at the moment to keep the lights on in places like Kiev? So today we, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's because of because of weather conditions, not so bad, uh, because we have import of power out of European countries. We still have uh, enough capacity, capacity, generation capacity for uh, for for today. But uh, in three months' time, if attacks will continue and we, we will still have such a, such a damage. And we, when we have maximum consumption in summertime, then definitely we'll have blackouts in the country. The situation is urgent and it should be changed immediately. You, when you say that um, the, the gravity of the situation, President Zelensky has basically said, well, I didn't basically, he did say that without US anti uh, air defense missiles, or at least systems, Ukraine will lose this war to the extent that without further air defense missiles or systems, you can't you can't keep power being generated. Absolutely. So last year, after last year attacks, we restored uh, three power units. We invested more than one hundred twenty five million dollars and we managed to go through the last winter season. But all of these were destroyed just by one, one attack. And uh, I don't know what, what we, we should do now. If we bring more equipment, install it now, and then we have another attack and it all destroyed it, uh, it will be nothing to restore after that. So it's absolute emergency in supply of air defense systems for, to protect civil infrastructure and to protect normal life of our people and, and right. uh, protect our industry. Take off your CEO hat, if you will and just be a, a Ukrainian citizen who's facing this. How annoyed, angry, pissed off, whatever phrase you want to use, are you about the US's so far backsliding in providing what they promised? You know, we are living for more than two years under everyday terror from Russia. And uh, all, you know, the, the, the amount of suffering brought to our people and to our companies cannot be, cannot be explained by words. And of course, we're all angry that decisions are not taken to uh, avoid the suffering, to help us to, to fight. And we are not fighting only for Ukraine, we are fighting for for the Western world, and I think it should be 
clear to everybody who we're making decisions about support of Ukraine. Sir, I'm grateful that we've spoken. We'll speak again. I'm always glad to have you and talk to you on Crestmeans Business Maker. And thank you.